Welcome to this lecture on transition metal organometallic chemistry from principles to applications. We have been discussing about transition metal carbine complexes in the last few lectures and we have looked into the various methods available with regard to synthesis of these transition metal carbine complexes as well as with regard to the properties of this is of these transition metal carbine complexes. These transition metal carbine complexes are designated as something like this where there is a multiple bonded carbine moiety with the transition metal. Uh, now, these transition metal carbine complexes were discussed in the pretext of transition metal carbene complexes which has uh, this double bond character between the transition metal and transition um, uh, carbonic moiety. Now, with regard to transition metal carbine complexes what we had seen that they come in two classes one is doublet carbine as well as uh, uh, the other one is a quartet carbine. Now, in the last lecture uh, we had uh, looked into uh, the bonding or interaction of the uh, frontier atomic orbital of this carbine moiety with the transition metal for this uh, doublet uh, carbine uh, species. So, let us sort of take a look that at how this frontier molecular orbitals are placed for uh, uh, these uh, carbine complexes. What it has? It has a 1 sp a orbital which had uh, 2 electron, uh, 1 p z orbital uh, which has Uh, which has one electron uh, and one p y orbital which is uh, vacant. So, these are called doublet carbines and these are mainly uh, classified as Fischer carbine complexes. Now, uh, uh, the, uh, we had uh, uh, discussed in details about the interaction with the uh, these uh, carbonic carbonic species with transition metal for this kind of uh, Fischer carbine complexes and what we found that these contains three kind of interaction one ligand two metal sigma interaction the next one is metal ligand pi interaction and the last one is metal 2 ligand pi interaction. So, what we saw is that there are two dative kind of interaction one is ligand sigma orbital donating to empty metal orbital that is a dative interaction and another kind of uh, pi interaction which is also dative where a field metal orbital donating electron to the empty p y orbital of the carbonic moiety. And then we saw that one simple covalent half field uh, half field interaction between um, the metal d orbital as well as uh, between the ligand p z orbital which is uh, partially occupied. Now, this is what uh, we had uh, discussed in our previous lecture about Fischer carbine complexes which has doublet carbonic uh, species bound to the uh, transition metal. Now, in today's lecture we are going to uh, be talking about uh, the uh, Schrock carbine species uh, which uh, are quartet carbenes. So, let us take a look at how this Schrock carbine species is particularly with respect to its fragment uh, 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 molecular orbital. So, this also has uh, sp a uh, hybridized uh, orbital and uh, sp orbital and uh, 
P z orbital and P y orbital similar to that of the uh, Fisher carbine species, but what is different over here is the number of electrons uh, uh, in each of these orbital as one in S p, one in uh, P z and one in P y. So, since this has a three unpaired spin, these are called quartet carbines or Schrock carbine. So, uh, we are going to uh, look in more details about how this Schrock carbine interacts with the uh, molecular orbital uh, of the transition metal. Uh, having proper uh, symmetry and what kind of interaction these rock carbines uh, lead to. So, the first one is So, this is a metal d sigma orbital, this is s p p z p y and the first one is just a half field half field interaction. interaction between metal and the ligand and this is denoted by metal ligand sigma interaction. The next interaction is between the metal d orbital with the P z orbital of of uh, uh, the carbonic moiety which has one electron and P z also has one electron. So, this interaction is primarily between this metal d pi orbital and p z orbital which is this and this also is a half field half field half field orbital and the, the last one is between the P y and and the metal d pi orbital and this is p y p z and this also has one electron one electron and hence this is the interaction between
P, uh, Py and the metal D pi. So, this also is a half field half field interaction. And both of these interactions are metal ligand pi type interaction and this one also is a metal ligand pi type interaction. So, what we see is the fact that these three half filled carbonic uh, orbital which is a P z uh, P y and one S p each of them interact with the metal orbital having appropriate symmetry and also half occupied uh, to give three multiple bonds between the carbonic and the metal fragment and these three uh, are pure covalent bond that involves sharing of electron from the metal fragment and that uh, uh, they form metal ligand sigma bond, metal ligand pi bond and metal ligand pi bond in the process of such uh, interaction. So, carbonic species because of uh, three unpaired electron uh, these are called quartet uh, carbene as well. So, with this we have uh, gotten a uh, 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 full insight as to how this uh, carbine, carbine orbital be it Fischer type or be it Schrock type interact with the metal orbital of appropriate uh, symmetry and also uh, electron occupancy a to give these uh, carbine complexes. And now we are going to look at some of the reactivity of transition metal carbine complexes as to how these interaction uh, lead to the differential reactivity that these carbine complexes display. Now, one thing uh, which is uh, coming out from this discussion and also has been referred to as uh, in our earlier lecture is that carbines are very uh, strong pi acidic ligand even stronger than that of the uh, carbon monoxide which usually is among uh, the few benchmark strong pi acidic ligands that one actually refer to. And because of this carbine exhibits uh, extremely strong trans effects in substitution reaction. Trans effect means if a ligand which is attached trans to the carbine uh, uh, gets substituted during a substitution reaction as carbine uh, himself is strongly bound to the uh, transition metal because of its uh, three multiple uh, bonds. So, reactivity wise carbine exhibits strong trans effect in substitution reaction. Strong trans effect is a ligand found disposed trans to the carbine mighty would get displaced. For example, for this complex when treated with a nucleophile like y minus gives
So what we see over here is the fact that the strands X gets replaced by this nucleophile Y and this is because of the strong tra uh, trans effect uh, that this carbonic moiety is uh, put. Here M equals chromium molybdenum tungsten X equals bromide uh, chloride as well as iodide. The same can be seen that if this reaction is uh, treated by C5 H5 so or cyclopentadienyl anion, then the product formed is eta 5 C5 H5 CO2 M C R plus X minus plus 2 CO. And uh, what it uh, says that even CO can be substituted uh, in these carbine complexes. Usually CO is supposedly a, a very strongly bound to the transition metal because of the uh, uh, forward as well as the backward sigma donation. But here is the instances where the carbonic moiety is bound even more strongly to the uh, than the CO to the metal and as a result in this carbine complexes even the CO gets substituted uh, as shown in the uh, reaction. Uh, now carbine uh, complexes also uh, undergoes nucleophilic attack and this is uh, similar to what we had uh, uh, encountered for carbonic complexes and here is an example of the same. So, it undergoes nucleophilic attack at metal carbine atom and this is represented by this equation. Plus PME 3, the PME 3 attacks the carbonic carbon to give XCO4 chromium minus C P M E 3 plus R and this reaction is thus addition of phosphine uh, yields phosphenocarbene. phenocarbene. Now, one thing uh, what needs to be mentioned over here is that uh, because of this nucleophilic uh, attack, the carbine moiety is uh, getting changed to a carbene moiety. Okay. So, uh, the complex which is a transition metal carbine complex over here becomes a uh, transition metal carbene complex on going from here through nucleophilic attack. And uh, what is to be uh, remembered over here that the reverse process of going from uh, car carbene to carbine was effectively used in synthesizing 
this transition metal carbine complexes. So, if we when we discussed uh, the strategy for the synthesis of transition metal carbine complexes, what we had seen that the most of the transition metal carbine complexes were formed from the corresponding transition metal carbene complexes. Now, here we see that uh, uh, the cycle uh, sort of repeating itself in terms of uh, going back in the reverse direction where this transition metal carbine complexes once formed when treated with nucleophile or undergoes a nucleophilic attack to give back the transition metal carbene complexes. So, uh, what we see is a good amount of interchangeability between transition metal carbene and transition metal carbine complexes uh, and they have been uh, uh, favorably exploited not only for their synthesis, but also for their sub uh, the reactivity studies as is shown in the slide below. Electrophilic reactivity of carbene is higher and can be uh, seen in the example discussed below. For example, for this Cp CO2 MnC methyl complex when treated with methyl lithium, it gives lithium uh, and reduces carbine to a carbine complex. So, what we see is that carbine uh, uh, complexes upon reacting with uh, the methyl lithium gives rise to these uh, carbene complexes. So, here also we see such a carbinic moiety going back to carbonic moiety after the reactivity in the reactivity studies. Similarly, another example is known of reductive dimerization. And this can be seen for this chromium complex. Which in presence of Na P Me 2 eliminates sodium plus eliminates Me 2 P P Me 2 to give this carbene complex. N E T 2. So, here what we see is that under these conditions the carbine moiety sort of becomes carbenic moiety and then there is this dimerization happening to give this bis carbene uh, complex and hence this overall reaction is thus named as reductive dimerization reaction. Here is another interesting example uh, uh, of uh, induced CC coupling observed for carbine complexes. coupling to give ketinyl compounds and this is explained through this example so molybdenum carbine moiety when treated with PME3 
have one of this CO2 migrate onto this carbine moiety to give this to give the CO inserted into the carbine fra fragment to give a ketyl moiety. So, what we see that uh, there is uh, uh, this induced uh, basin CC coupling resulting to give ketyl compounds which is uh, this kind of uh, species. Now, with that let me conclude what we have discussed in today's lecture particularly on carbine. We have looked into the metal ligand interaction using frontier molecular orbital uh, uh, diagram uh, at the Schrock kind of carbene which is uh, which has a, a quartered spin state. We have also seen how this uh, 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 carbinic moiety interacts with that of the transient metal resulting in formation of three bonds uh, one metal ligand sigma bond, one another metal ligand pi bond and another metal ligand pi bond. With that uh, we also uh, discussed about the reactivity of transition metal carbine complexes and what we had seen that the reactivity sort of mirrors uh, the synth uh, synthesis of carbine uh, complexes, but in the opposite direction uh, which is uh, seen from the fact that much of the reactivity of transition metal carbine complexes lead to the formation of transition metal carbene complexes. Uh, uh, and these transition metal carbene complexes were employed to synthesize, synth to synthesize transition metal carbine complexes. So, what we see is that uh, much of the reactivity of trans metal carbine complexes lead to this uh, transition metal carbene complexes. We have seen this with respect to the nucleophilic addition of the um, uh, anions uh, uh, to the transition metal carbine complexes. We have also seen trans effect. Uh, of the ligand situated trans to this carbine moiety getting uh, substituted in the substitution reaction. Also, we have seen uh, uh, the electrophilic reactivity uh, uh, towards of carbine moiety towards regions like uh, methyl lithium. And finally, we have also seen dimerization uh, uh, of this uh, transition uh, metal carbine complexes leading to the formation of this transition metal uh, carbene complexes. Uh, in this lecture. So, with that uh, I would like to conclude today's lecture and I will uh, discuss some more of carbine chemistry in uh, uh, the subsequent lecture. Uh, until then uh, that, uh, that time uh, goodbye and I hope to join with you in the next lecture. Thank you.